Hello and welcome to episode 143 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making a wine barrel rack. Uh, so let's start with a description. A rack to store wine barrels used to store wine barrels in one place for easy access. So um, bear in mind though of course any liquids can be stored in the wine barrel that's why I made uh, the last episode and uh, will demonstrate with this episode using small wine barrels which contain different liquids uh, just to make sure that you all appreciate it's not just wine that you can use for this um, you can use any liquid any liquid you want to stop from rotting or any liquid you just want to be able to store um, Okay, here's some notes on the wine barrel rack. It can be planted, it cannot be mailed, it can hold up to 30 wine barrels, just like all the other racks. The, the small barrel rack holds 30 barrels and the amphora rack holds 30 amphoras. Um, well, actually it holds a different amount for the small amphoras and the large ones, but we won't go there. It can be picked up, whether empty or full, though I'd like to see you picking it up with all the wine, 30 wine barrels full of 45 kilograms of liquid, that would be quite uh, a feat. Uh, and wine barrels stored in a wine barrel rack can be sealed, and that's something else I want to demonstrate. So okay, to uh, the total materials needed to make a, a wine barrel rack are one large nail and two wooden beams so very very simple um, to make but very very useful um, as I'm sure most of you have got barrels scattered all over your deeds um, making the wine barrel rack uses the carpentry skill so let's go ahead and make one okay if I open up my inventory you'll see I've got the two wooden beams and large uh, nail and I've decided I'm going to put it over this side just simply because I'm running out of room for a that does look a bit of a state over there, I might rearrange it at some point for now it's home <laughs> so I'm going to put the wine barrel rack just here I'm going to use the crafting window <coughs> excuse me because this makes it very even more simple so let's type in wine and there you go there's the wine barrel rack straight away uh, can I stretch that out? No. Okay, so if we take a look at it, you'll see large nail and two wooden beams. Let's add that to the crafting window. Okay, now remember when making your racks, stand to the sideways because it's going to face that way. So I'm going to stand here. In fact, I'll come a little over so we can actually see it so it's not in the grass. <coughs> excuse me okay so it's the last rack in the list that you can see but boy oh boy are these very useful all these different racks let's now create our wine barrel rack okay so now what I'll do is add that to the crafting window and add the other wooden beam and continue Oh, let's bring up my skills just to show you this carpentry going up. Not fine carpentry, just carpentry. Let's whack that up and continue. There we go. So that's what a wine barrel rack looks like without any items, any barrels within it. But let's put some of the barrels I've made previously. So here's one full of tanning. And here's one full of lye, although one of the tannins not full, the lye is, but not the tannin. Let's now right click and open the wine barrel rack and drop the barrels in. And you see as soon as you put one barrel in, it then changes to this image of all the barrels. And as you can see, these barrels are sealed because they've got the liquid that's contained in them in brackets. And so you can have up to 30 of them stored in there, all holding 45 kilograms of your chosen liquid. 
and times that by 30 and to bear in mind the fact that look how much little space that that uses you could have a warehouse full of these racks with the wine barrels I just wanted to also demonstrate um, if we put try and put a small barrel in no doubt there will be some of you curious can you put small barrels in no so only wine barrels can be put in the wine barrel rack ok let's put that back on our wagon ok so I mean I've got to make a load more barrels because um, I've got all sorts of liquids spread all over my deed and they're all rotting away um, the main benefit of this of course is not just only storing these different liquids but sealing the wine, small wine barrels with a peg like I did in the last episode uh, and that way as you make your dyes and your tannin and your lye and your wine and all the other liquids now that you can make you can store them in here because you don't want them rotting after you've spent hours making wine or whatever liquid you're doing so here's your perfect way now for storing them and basically you can store an unlimited amount of the liquids right okay well just a short episode this week um, because that's really all it is is just making that nice and simple wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.